Hello brothers and sisters, I am Abana from HJ Creations. In this video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful baby cap. You can see, this is very easy to make. You can see, this is very easy to make. Uh, for this project, I am using only in the double crochet. So, all beginners can try this project. Uh, for this project, I am using 4mm crochet hook. Let's start of the project. I am going to use blue color yarn. I am using two stands of, of uh, two play yarn. So this is considered as four play yarn. You can see how to identify which is two play, which is three play, which is four play. Means you simply twist this uh, like this way. Now you can see two threads like this. So this is a uh, two play yarn. You can see you simply twist like this so you see you can see two yarns two threads you can see two threads so this is a two play yarn for this method you can identify which is two play which is three play so for this project i am using two stands of two play yarn so this is considered as four play yarn uh, all crochet projects are starting with magic ring or slip knot. In this project, I am going to start with a magical ring, magic ring or magical circle like this way. Into the magical circle, we want to have 12 double crochet, make chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This chain 3 is count as first double crochet. So, remaining I have 11 double crochets. Into this magical circle, make second double crochet. Chain 3 is count as first double crochet. This is my second double crochet. This is my third double crochet. After finishing 12 double crochets, I will show you. So, I did uh, 11 double crochet. And uh, this 3 chain is count as 1 double crochet. So, totally I have 12 double crochet in this magical ring. Now, you have something bigger circle. For that, you simply pull this uh, tail end. This is called as tail end. You simply pull this tail and means you get smaller circle like this. You get like this. Now you have 12 double crochet in this round. To finish this round, make a slip stitch into the third chain space. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. This is my third chain space. Into this, I make a slip stitch. In this round, I have 12 double crochets, so I have 12 chain spaces. For starting to start the next round, make chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Chain 3 is count as first double crochet. Make one more double crochet into the same chain space. Move to the next chain space. Into this, make 2 double crochet. 1. 2 Move to the next chain space Into this chain space make 2 double crochets 1 2 Move to the next chain space Into this make 2 double crochet In every chain space you want to make 2 double crochet in every chain space After finishing this I will show you in every chain space, I make two double crochet. So, totally, I have 24 uh, chain spaces. So, I did uh, 24. Sorry. Totally, I have 12 chain spaces. In every chain spaces, I did two double crochet. So, totally, I have 24 double crochet in this round. To finish this round, make a slip stitch into the third chain space. Like this. Now, round two is completed. To start the next round, make chain 3. 1, 2, 3. This chain 3 is count as first double crochet. Move to the next chain space. This is the second chain space. 
into the chain space make two double crochet this is the first double crochet into the same chain space make another double crochet in the first chain space i simply make chain 3 this is count as first double crochet one double crochet in the first chain space i make one double crochet in the second chain space i did two double crochet move to the next into this make one double crochet move to the next into this make two double crochet into the same space i make another double crochet move to the next into this make one double crochet move to the next make two double crochet move to the next one double crochet move to the next two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet you continue this pattern for this round in every second chain space you want to make two double crochet into the same space after finishing this i'll show you in my last chain space i did two double crochet uh, in every second chain space i did two double crochet into the same space you can see this is the first space so i did out one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet sorry this is the one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet one double crochet two double crochet i continue this pattern for this round totally i have 36 double crochet in this round to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space one two three this is my third chain space into this i did i do slip stitch now round three is completed if you made this for newborn baby uh, uh that c age is uh, zero to one month means uh, this is enough if you made this for zero to six month baby means uh, you going to one increase round for that make chain three this is first double crochet move to the second chain space into this make one double crochet move to the next into this this is the third chain space into this chain space you want to make two double crochet into the same chain space one two move to the next into this make one double crochet move to the next this is the second chain space so one double crochet move to the next this is the third chain space so into this make two double crochet one two you continue this pattern for this round in every third chain third chain space you want to make two double crochet into the same chain space after finishing this i'll show you i nearly done my fourth round you see in my every third chain space i did two double crochet into that chain space this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one so i simply did two double crochet into this first one second one third one so i did two double crochet into this chain space so every third chain space i did two double crochet to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space one two three into this i did slip stitch okay in this round i have 48 double crochets so i have 48 chain space if you make this for zero to six months means you simply stop increase in this round if you make this for six to one year baby means you continue to one increase round i made this for 10 month baby only for that reason i am going to increase one more round to increase one more round means make chain three this is count as first double crochet in this round what is the pattern for this round means in every fourth chain space you want to make two double crochet into that same chain space in the first one i simply did 12 double crochet in the second round i did two double crochet into the every chain space in the third one in every second chain space i did two double crochet in this round in every third chain space i did two double crochet in this round i will do two double crochet in my fourth chain space so this is the first double crochet move to the next one this is the second chain space into this make one double crochet 
into the third make one double crochet into the fourth make two double crochet one two move to the next one double crochet this is the first chain space this is the second chain space this is the third chain space this is my fourth chain space so into this i am going to make two double crochet into the same chain space one and two i continue this pattern for this round in every fourth chain space i am going to make two double crochet into the same chain space to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space one two three this is my third chain space into this i make a slip stitch round 5 is completed in this round i have 60 double crochets so i have 60 chain spaces for the next round so i made this cap for uh, 10 month baby this is enough for increasing for her if you made this for above one year's means you go to the next round for one more increase for that uh, uh, you follow the pattern for in every fifth chain space you want to make increase stitch that is nothing but into the fifth chain space you make two double crochet into the same chain space that is called increase stitch um, after this i am going to stop the increase and uh, going to the normal stitches for that make chain three one two three this is count as one double crochet move to the next chain space into this make one double crochet move to the next chain space into this make one double crochet move to the next chain space into this make one double crochet you continue this pattern for this round in every chain space you want to make one double crochet in every chain space to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space after finishing this make chain three and continue the same pattern make one double crochet in every chain space you continue this pattern for seven or eight rounds uh, it uh, depends upon your hat length hat length is uh, nothing but from the center to this corner this is called the cap or hat length after finishing seven or eight rounds i will show you what are the next step for this project you see i continue the same pattern for eight rounds if you want a lengthy hat means this is the length of the hat this is the center from this to this this is the length of the hat if you want something uh, length means you continue the same round for one or two more so you get uh, enough uh, length but this is enough for my baby so you can see this is my eighth round in this eighth round to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space one two three this is my third chain space so into this chain space i make a slip stitch now uh, in this uh, rounds or i am working with a four play yarn you can see this is the two play yarns so i am using two stanza of two play yarn. so this is considered as a four play uh, we now we are going to make the ruffles of this hat for this i have little amount of yarns only if i use this for two stanza means that this is not enough for this hat only for that reason i am going to with uh, uh, to play yarn for the ruffles if you have much more amounts of yarn means you continue with the same yarn what do you use for this but i have some amount of yarn so only only for that reason i simply cut this yarn and join to play i am not going with two stands for the ruffles so for cut the yarn make chain one and cut the yarn pull the yarn okay now for the ruffles for the ruffles uh, first round i am going to work only in the front loops only i am not touch the back loop that's very important you can see this is the slip stitch in my previous round this is the next chain space so i am going to join this yarn into this chain space back loop only 
For that reason, I make a slip knot. After making the slip knot, this is the next chain space. This is the slip stitch for the previous round. This is the next chain space. In this chain space, this is the back loop. This is the front loop. I am working only in the front loop. You can see, I am working only in the front loop. This is the back loop. I don't work in the back loop. Only working in the front loop. In this front loop, I join the yarn. Make chain 3. One, two, three. Chain three is count as first double crochet into the same front loop, making three more double crochet. So totally, I made four double crochet into this same front loop. This is the first double crochet. Chain three is count as first double crochet. This is my second double crochet into the same third double crochet. Fourth double crochet. Move to the next chain space. This is the next chain space. Space you can see. It has two loops. One is front loop. One is back loop. Now working only in the front loop. You can see this is the front loop. In this front loop, make four double crochets. One, two, three four move to the next space this is the front loop into this make four double crochet one two three four Move to the next space in the front loop only make four double crochet. You continue the same pattern for this round. In every chain space working only in the front loop only. Uh, in that front loop make four double crochet. After finishing this round I will show you what are the next step for this project. I make, I did four double crochet in every front loop. Uh, to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space. You see. 1, 2, 3, this is my third chain space. So, into this chain space, I make a slip stitch like this. Now, you get ruffles like this. You can see, you get like this. Now, we are going to work in the chain space, not working only in the front loop or back loop. Now, we are going to working in the chain space. For that, move to the next chain space. You can see, make chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Chain 3 is count as first double crochet. Move to the next chain space. Into this chain space, make 1 double crochet. Move to the next chain space, make 1 double crochet. Move to the next chain space, make 1 double crochet. In every chain space, you want to make one double crochet. That is enough. Now, we, my, uh, now my target is the length of the ruffle is something, something bigger. For only for that reason, I am going to work one double crochet in every chain space. Now you get a small ruffles. If you have something length, means uh, it's look something elegant something beautiful only for that reason i am going to work one more round only in the double crochet so i simply make one double crochet in every chain space in every chain space you simply make one double crochet like this after finishing this round i'll show you what are the next step for this project i nearly done this round to finish this round make a slip stitch into the third chain space one two three this is my third chain space so into this chain space i make a slip stitch now you get the ruffles uh, this length uh, is you know, for my ruffle if you want something lengthy means you continue once again one more round you simply make one double crochet in every chain space if you do like that way means you simply get something 
high ripples but uh, this is enough for my baby so i going to finish this project for that make chain one sorry chain one and cut the yarn like this so our project is done you can see like this this is the ruffles of the hat it came out very well can see this is very easy project uh, uh, this is uh, all beginners all try this project this is very easy one for uh, beginners uh, so please try this project and share your valuable thoughts with me i hope all are enjoying enjoying this video if you like this video means please hit the thumbs up button because this is the only way for motivation me if you dislike means don't hesitate to hit the dislike button and please please share your thoughts what are the reasons for dislike this video because that is very important to me for rectify and identify my mistakes so please share your thoughts try this project and share your valuable thoughts stay connected with us don't forget to subscribe my channel Happy with crochet. Have a nice day.